As Heli Expo opens in Las Vegas, Milestone Aviation flexes its muscles. Hi, I'm AIN TV's Kurt Epstein, and we'll have all the top stories from the show's day one right after this message. Welcome back. The official cutting of the ribbon by Helicopter Association International President Matt Saccaro and company yesterday morning signaled the official start of Heli Expo 2013 as the crowds poured into the Las Vegas Convention Center. Show organizers say there were more than 16,000 pre-registrations this year and believe attendance could break last year's record. On the show floor, the manufacturers got down to business quickly, announcing orders headlined by two massive purchases from Milestone Aviation. The Rotocraft exclusive leasing company has a portfolio of 79 helicopters worth more than $1 billion and was founded in 2010 by former NetJets head Richard Santulli. That total will rise following yesterday morning's announcement of an order for 14 additional large cabin Eurocopter EC-225s and five super mid-size EC-175s, which when combined with its initial order for 16 EC-225s, brings Milestone's total Eurocopter backlog to nearly $1 billion. As an encore, Milestone followed that up in the afternoon with a Sikorsky order for 23 large cabin S-92s and 7 S-76Ds, with options for an additional 14 S-92s and 10 S-76s, which if exercised will give the order a value of more than $1 billion. According to Santulli, the mid to large size helicopters are where the oil and gas industry is heading. Well, I mean, we look at the oil and gas business and look out 5 to 10 years. And, and it's obvious that more and more of the exploration and more importantly production is farther and farther offshore, requires longer range assets, longer range assets cost more money. So when we look at the demand for heavy helicopters, we think there'll be a huge demand for our service, obviously. Sikorsky also unveiled its recently certified S-76D helicopter in the colors of launch customer Bristow, which signed an agreement for 10 of the mid-size rotorcraft, plus options for another 16, to join its worldwide fleet of more than 500 aircraft. Sikorsky's founder, Igor Sikorsky, who was credited with the creation of the world's first viable helicopter, started the Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation back in 1923. So here at Heli Expo, the Connecticut-based airframer celebrated its 90th anniversary. His son, Sergei, looked back on his father's legacy. Well, it's very, very wonderful. It's wonderful to celebrate the 90th anniversary, the 90th birthday of Sikorsky in America, in the United States and especially here at the International Helicopter Exhibition. I, I personally would say that it's a very wonderful feeling to see these literally dozens and dozens of different helicopters around here and to realize that it was only a short 60 some odd years ago that my father began to work on his helicopters and at that time being warned by very responsible authorities that the helicopter will never work. Making its air show debut at the Bell Helicopter booth was its 525 Relentless Simulator, which our Randy Padfield had the opportunity to try out. You can use the yaw beep here and it's going to roll you into like a half standard rate, but when you let go it's going to roll back to wings level. The super medium twin launched at last year's Heli Expo will be the Textron subsidiary's largest helicopter, and it marks a new chapter in the company's history. It's the beginning of a new process, uh, how we develop new product to the market. Uh, it's the start of many new products that we're developing. It's the one that we can talk about today, but it also really expands the product portfolio. So expanding the product portfolio at the upper end of the, of the market in that category that we really believe is a future need in the market with the right technology to bring more safety and capability to the industry, we think is critically important both for our customers and for Bell. According to Bell's CEO, John Garrison, the real Relentless will make its first flight next year. The company also announced its first order of the show, a mix of 30 206L4s and 407GXs to Air Medical Group Holdings. And finally, even though we're in Las Vegas, 
Phoenix Heli Parts brought a little Hawaii to Heli Expo when it delivered a refurbished MD500, an exact replica of the helicopter featured in television's Magnum PI, to Hawaii-based Paradise Helicopters. On hand to help with the handover were actors Larry Manetti and Roger Mosley, who played the detective sidekicks in the 1980 series and added their signatures to the helicopter. As Heli Expo continues, we'll have all of Day 2's top stories here on AINTV.com. And for the latest breaking news, check out AINonline.com. If you're here at the show, pick up one of our copies of HAI Convention News. For AINTV, I'm Kurt Epstein. Thanks for watching.